Hello, so it's been a little over a month since I posted my last video. Um, things have been a little bit chaotic. I started working at two different uh, charter schools as a speech language pathologist, even though I don't have my certification yet. I'm still working on that. I was also essentially placed on academic probation after my first semester of graduate school. Um, because I got a C in one of my classes, and of course, in graduate school, you can't get anything lower than a B. Anything lower than a B is essentially failing. So they put me on probation, and they made me take a leave of absence. Uh, so I'm not taking classes this spring semester, and I won't be going back till the fall. Uh, and then at first, I was really bummed out about that because I felt like part of the reason why I did so poorly toward the end of the semester wasn't just because I had started working a full-time job, but also because I uh, was taken off my stimulant medication, um, which was my day for the, for the inattentive ADHD, and I was placed on Kelby, which is a non-stimulant. Of course, it was my choice to be taken off the stimulant because it was making me kind of nervous and more of on edge than I usually am, and I already have anxiety and depression and all these other things. So I told my provider about it, and she's like, okay, I'm gonna try taking you off the stimulant and place you on a relatively new medication for ADHD, a relatively new non-stimulant medication known as Kelby. It had similar side effects to those of Stratera when I took it. It made me very fatigued, tired. I did not notice any improvement in my ability to focus with Kelby. Uh, this was my experience. It may not be yours if you try, you know, everyone responds to medication uh, differently. But Kelby did not help at all. I, I took it for a couple of months. I tried taking it in the morning. It was making me fatigued. So I tried taking it at night, like my provider said, and it did not help. And I was not able to reach out to my provider provider as quickly as I would have liked because I always have to wait like over a month sometimes to be able to see her again because her appointments um, are not most of the time she doesn't have any any av available appointments because she's always um, fully booked and so uh, that I think was part of the reason for my lack of focus lack of concentration consequently. Um, I ended up not doing well on one of my finals, which brought my grade in that class, in that aphasia class, down to a C, and I was placed on probation and all this other stuff, which at first I was really upset about, but then trying to re reframe things, uh, seeing how I was also struggling to adjust to working full-time, I figured it won't be so bad to take a, look, a couple of months off of school so that I can kind of adjust to working full time and really focus on that for a while. Um, anyway, uh, this is a medication update. So I found a different provider, a uh, different psychiatrist, and he took me off the Kelby and he put me on a different medication for ADHD known as modafinil. Um, it's actually used as a first-line treatment for narcolepsy, but has also been used for ADHD. I'm not exactly how that works, but it has also been uh, called the limitless pill, right? Um, and I'm also still on the antidepressant Trintelix for the anxiety and the depression. And additionally, he put me on Buspirone for the anxiety, and that was just uh, on Friday when he ordered that. So I haven't taken it yet. I picked that up at the pharmacy, the Buspirone for the anxiety, uh, but I will be taking my first dose of that tomorrow. So as of tomorrow, I will be taking, I'll be on three medications, including the Buspirone for the anxiety, the Trintelix for depression, and the Modafinil for the ADHD. As far as the Modafinil goes, I can definitely say that I've noticed an improvement in my overall fatigue and ability to focus. I'm not nearly as tired as I was when I was on Kelby, but that could be due to the fact that I'm maybe adjusting now to working full-time and it's not as difficult as it was at the beginning because this is really my first ever full-time job in like my 32 years of being alive, right? So being alive, because I've only ever worked from home as a graphic designer, making custom t-shirts and invitations, uh, running my Etsy shop. Um, I have had part-time tutoring gigs and a, a part-time job as a reading specialist, but I never uh, worked a full-time job 
uh, until recently when I started back in December. So it was a huge adjustment for me uh, to have to be away from home, which is my comfort zone, and have to be at a school around people all day, having meetings with administrators, principals, and parents, uh, being constantly watched and uh, and uh, by my supervisor and all of this. Uh, it's still a big adjustment for me, but I think uh, it's getting easier. And I do think the modafinil has helped as far as the focus and the fatigue. It's still not perfect. I still have a hard time focusing sometimes, but, um, you know, you're not, I don't think you're ever going to find a medication for ADHD that's, ADHD that's going to take away all the symptoms uh, entirely. I think if I could at least take the edge off of my constant fatigue and inability to focus and stay organized, then that's a win for me. Um Tomorrow, when uh, I've also been very, very anxious, right? So my anxiety has definitely spiked since I started working. That's why I asked my provider, my new provider, if I, he could also give me something for the anxiety. He initially, uh, I wouldn't say he was against it, but he said, you know, it's probably just an adjustment period since you started working. I think that the anxiety might uh, lessen a bit as you uh, get used to your new work environment. But if you feel like you really need something for anxiety, then I will provide you with something. And I said, yes, you know. And so that's when he uh, he said he was going to prescribe buspirone. Uh, and it's not a benzodiazepine. I can't talk today. I'm starting to think I'm the one who needs speech therapy at this point. It's not a benzo. I've never tried benzos. I've only ever tried SSR, SSRIs and SNRIs, so things like Zoloft and um, Wellbutrin and whatnot. Um, but uh, he did say that buspirin, buspirin tends to work a little bit faster, but I still have to give it a week or two before I can start seeing the effects. But it does take to tend to work a little bit faster than SSRIs because when I was on Zoloft, it took at least a month for me to really be able to notice any different any difference. And the reason I came off Zoloft is because it was making me gain a lot of weight. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm officially off of the Kelbri. And prior to the Kelbri, I was taking the stimulant Mydeus, which I do feel also helped with the ADHD symptoms, but really exacerbated my anxiety and made me feel more nervous and on edge than I already am. So I would say if you're looking for a stimulant and you don't suffer from anxiety like I do, and it's just the ADHD symptoms that you're trying to manage, uh, my days has probably been the best, uh, at least for me, that has worked the best out of all the stimulants that I've tried. And I've tried Ritalin and I've tried um, uh, Vyvanse and a couple of other ones. Um, but if you do have anxiety, I would say opt for a non-stimulant medication so that you don't get that spike in anxiety. But of course, it does not happen to everyone. And this is not medical advice. This is just me talking about my own experience with stimulant and non-stimulant medication. So uh, I'm going to start on the buspirone tomorrow. I'm going to keep taking the... Um, Trentelix for the depression, and I am also going to be keep taking the modafinil for the ADHD, and I will come back and uh, update you guys in a week or two or sooner. Um, I will try not to let it be a month before my next update, but uh, like I said, things have been very kind of fast-paced and chaotic since I started working, so um, I will just come on here whenever I have the time to just... Uh, sit down and um, and talk. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, I guess.